It's not just big events. It's not just the All-Star Game. It's just not the Final Four. It's not just the Super Bowl. This is a problem that occurs every day in all communities in Indiana. The city of Indianapolis has an impressive resume of hosting big events. The Super Bowl, the Indy 500, and next month, the NBA All-Star Game. And almost every event comes with more concern about an increase in human trafficking. In city after city, year after year, human trafficking is on a rise across this country. And it is most noticeable at big events. But we are warned tonight to be aware that this is a problem in our community all the time. January is Human Trafficking Prevention Month, and tonight our Rich and I talks with advocates and lawmakers trying to fight this dark trend. Victims advocates gathered at the State House Tuesday say human trafficking cases have been reported in every county in Indiana. I think it's really important not to pay too much attention to what the movies in Hollywood tell you, but to really learn from experts in the field of what trafficking actually looks like because it is happening in our community and if you don't know what to look for, if you think it's sensationalized and it's only the white van and someone being snatched from a mall, then you're going to miss it. And so it's important to really understand what it looks like in our community. Everyone can watch out for the signs of someone who appears to be under the control of someone else who is not their parent or guardian. The vast majority of human trafficking victims do not identify as such. Many of them do not want to get involved with the criminal justice system. They're in fear. They don't have a place to live. They might have children or elders to care for, and this is the way they feel they have to um, be in, in living and working in order to feed their families and themselves. The Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault and Human Trafficking wants to reach victims with a message that help and hope are available. Parents can play a huge role in prevention. Our knowledge is power. The more that we are able to under identify social media, gaming apps, internet access that children have unsupervised, and how that sometimes can lead to them being trafficked and communicating with people they may not always know. Advocates hope lawmakers also address the issue. One bill introduced at the State House this year would require hotels and motels to provide human traffic awareness training to all of their employees. And that same kind of information would have to be posted at each public lodging establishment. Another House bill would require school employees to complete child sexual trafficking prevention training. In Indianapolis, Rich Nye, 13 News. Human trafficking is a growing problem here and across the country. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, human trafficking increased by 49% between 2011 and 2021. The number of people charged with human trafficking doubled during that same time period. The National Human Rights Trafficking Hotline says there were 176 victims here in Indiana in 2021. Last year, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office charged 20 people with human trafficking crimes. Federal prosecutors tell us they charged one man and got another convicted in 2023. So if you or someone you know right now is dealing with human trafficking, we want you to know that there are many resources available. And we have links to where you can report or learn more information or even get help for victims of trafficking. All you have to do is go right now to our website, WTHR.com. We also have this information conveniently posted for you right now in our WTHR News app.